it's freezing today. What's going on? At least it's not raining, I suppose. And what did I read today? I guess the first one I read was kind of interesting. It basically dealt with what we read recently where India wanted to ban drones from being imported because they wanted to promote domestic growth. But there lies the issue because what happens when you ban all of the popular drones that people use? You could say, oh, it'd be good for things like drone delivery and stuff like that, but this one's kind of interesting to think about. This one here says, filmmakers fret over drone import ban. While India's ban was aimed at boosting the local drone industry, Indian manufacturers currently don't make cinematography grade drones. Aerial cinematography used in the making of everything from Bollywood movies to elaborate wedding videos will be the biggest casualty of India's import ban on drones, industry insiders told DH. This is because almost all the drones currently used for these purposes in India are made by China's SZ DJI technology. The Indian companies have done well to develop drones for defense purposes and made progress in developing drones for commercial uses in agriculture, mining and delivery, but they are yet to make drones for aerial cinematography. That's a huge oversight and it's kind of like what I always say here where the regulations they make absolutely no sense for the mass majority of people just flying say a toy or just capturing things like videos and pictures. Whereas like in this case, you can see a lot of people, I guess on the higher upper chain would just think, oh, drone, you use it for like what? Delivery, military purposes and all that. Whereas the mass majority of people nowadays just use it for things like this, taking videos and pictures. It makes me wonder, does that mean some people are gonna start trying to, I guess, smuggle in a cinematography drones as if they're drugs and weapons now just to do basic stuff? And this was kind of interesting because as you guys know, there's all those protests and stuff going around Canada just due to things like mandates and the police, for example, in Ottawa have been really aggressive by the looks of it anyways. And that picture or video of the one with the police horse running into the lady, that's pretty much the famous one. But looking at this, I didn't know if it was real at first where apparently it was a screenshot of police officers in a chat room and they were basically sharing like the video like you can see here it says police horses trample peaceful protesters there's a facebook video and these are apparently police officers i guess mocking it laughing it says here like wow another person says that's awesome we only think we're living the dream that's what we need to do now from what i gather apparently a police officer leaked this out because obviously i guess the person was disgusted over it and i didn't know like is this real but you can see here i guess the rcmp released a statement here it says the rcmp is aware of the material circulating on social media pertaining to a chat group that includes some of its members we can confirm that we are looking into the matter the material is not representative of those who have committed themselves to serving Canadians with integrity and professionalism. All members of the RCMP know that, whether on or off duty, they have a responsibility to hold themselves to the highest professional standards and are subject to the code of conduct of the RCMP at all times. So that kind of confirms whether or not I guess it's real or not. I would assume it's kind of real. They have to release like a press release and stuff like that of this. Yeah, that's kind of crazy though, overall. And funny enough, you guys actually mentioned where apparently this Klaus Schwab guy wrote books. And there's various ones online. Like this one here says, The Great Narrative. I guess it's his philosophy on how to like run the world and so forth, which you could say anyone in that parliament that's with that WEF would kind of follow the same philosophy. That would be the assumption anyways, if they're quote, I guess, loyal <laughs> like what he said in the video and so forth but you can see like the reviews and stuff it's kind of interesting like this one here says the author is actively influencing young leaders including existing leaders with academic and non-practice ideology using the COVID pandemic as an opportunity ultimately he is aiming for a singular global government that controls the masses just like the Aryan superior nation in Germany Unfortunately, given his borrowing of the environmental agenda, it will not work. Yet he has captivated so many leaders, including our own Prime Minister Trudeau and his cabinet. He acknowledges this. Maybe I guess they mean in the book, but you saw from the video, it seems like he clearly states, yeah, there's like so many people in the Canadian Parliament that I guess 
follows like his ideology and so forth. See you guys later.